and welcome to today's video which is the review of the Kerno Beckman 2H Demu number 1122 in rail blue and I have just fitted this with Lego Man Biffo Demu sound. Beckman's class 2H unit number 1122 in rail blue I just appear to have noticed I've knocked one of the guard's handrails off whilst doing some bits and pieces installing the decoder so I'll have to get around to looking at that shortly um, but what do we have? We have a very nice unit the detail is very good crisp well moulded fuel tanks air reservoirs second no additionally fitted handrails which I've now made loose but there we go um, what we do have is exhaust, a radiator fan nicely detailed with lifting eyes on the engine cover we got the um, periscopes on the roof for the guard to, for looking forward when travelling on the train um, what we do have, which is an error, is the lighting conduits on the roof. Um, the Demus were built in several batches. This being the batch of four two-car units built for the Kent and Sussex routes between Ashford and Hastings and Bexhill West and Crowhurst. Um, and these units had internally run electrics for the lights. Um, what should be on the roof, which is correct, is the water pipe for the toilet header tank that runs down to the back end of the coach and down to the filling points at the bottom. Um, these, again, shouldn't be on here, these conduits. But the conduits that should remain is the ones from the guards brake and around the cab for the cab lighting. That's correct, that should be on there. But the long runs down the coach and over the compartments shouldn't be there I'm afraid. Not on this batch of unit uh, which is 1119 uh, to 22. A batch of four units. Um, but saying that, other than that, this is an excellent unit. It's unfortunate it's not a three car. I would have loved a three car. Lots of people would love a three car because then we get blue and grey units. Um, but what I'm going to possibly attempt is I've got a spare two EPB. And I'm thinking of converting this into a 3T unit. If I can get the electrical couplers and the coupling ends um, which are fitted to this end of the coach. So that I can fit it to the driving, tra the driving cab end of the EPB driving trailer to make the third coach. Otherwise I'm going to have to keep it as this. Um, they didn't last very long in the, on the southeastern and were soon transferred while still in all over green livery down to Eastleigh for running on the Alton route over the Alps which is now the mid Hens Railway. But uh, saying that, I like the uni very much. It's tad expensive this was in a water damaged box so so it was a bit cheaper but otherwise I wouldn't have bought it yet um, hopefully one day someone will get round to making a three car maybe Batman will do it um, once any time orientated agreements with Kernos are finished um, but yeah there we go this is it and what I've fitted Lego Man Biffo Sound and uh, we'll give it a run Sounds. This is what we've got. Uh, F17, I think it is. Let's have a look. Uh, yep, 17 is the engine prime cycle. And then the usual. F1 to crank over and fire it up.
Right, we have two versions of the horn, one for each direction, um, which is normal for Lego Man Buffo sounds. Uh, this one is for the driving trailer end. Which are playable. And we'll change direction. And we'll go for the motor coach end. Bit of a wonky horn, which is common with the English electric southern units. And uh, locos as well. Class 73s, which we've got basically the same horns. And we've got a coupling sound, which is the Buckeye coupling in this case. We have brakes releasing. And then we have doors, passenger doors on random. And we're now down to F7, which is compressor. And then we have on the later units, not right for this one, these had uh, like a big donut on the bottom of the main reservoir tank as a drain valve. But uh, Spyrex valves for the later units fitted in Network Southeast days onwards. And then what we have is F10. Function 10, and then function 11 is the drive to guards bell. Um, what I requested of Biffo is to not put the buzz buzz that you get on this. Um, that was purely an occasional driver might buzz buzz back to the guard, but generally that was a diesel mechanical unit thing. The southern you just gave two on the bell and off you went. There was generally no buzzing back. So on my my model here, I just have the bell. Quite quiet because obviously it's in the cab. And go for it, go for it again. There's three different ones, three different versions. But there we go, little quiet little ding dings on the belt, which means right away we've got a cab door shut. And off we go. And what we also have for early units, again not for this particular version. The early units had whistles. But again by this time they were not fitted and they were just fitted with the two-tone horn. So we'll just So we'll just have some videos of it running around.